Hey guys, Vision here. Welcome to a AI bot tutorial. Apparently I made the AI manhunt bot and now a bunch of you have been asking for a tutorial even though some of these command blocks are a bit off and weird but I'll still give you guys a tutorial. Maybe you guys can play around with it and find a solution to some of the problems. Now are you the AI? Ah, there you are. Come over here. Come here AI. Okay. So we got ourselves a regular armor stand. I don't think not. I don't think you're anything special. Um, they they got into TU. Um, it just has a tag of AI too, and that's about it. Wow, that's all I did. I mean, you should add probably inver um, invulnerable or marker, either or. And there you go. Now, how should I do this part? How do I explain all these command blocks? I guess I'll do a quick coding montage, and hopefully that does it okay me okay editor go do it I don't know how to do it so it'll be a future me problem as well Okay, is either that worked or it didn't work? So let's cu let's quickly go over everything. Let's turn this off just to be extra safe. I put these signs everywhere. So, and these are all functions. So if you if you need all of them, you take all of them. If you need one of them, you take one of them. And yeah. So let's go over everything at one by one. Or I'll probably completely change this video by edit when I'm editing it, and we'll. I don't know. So execute at the AI. We're going to make it face the entity at P, which kind of makes it not multiplayer friendly. You could probably use it multiplayer, but it has to be just... Uh, it will somewhat work multiplayer. It just it will be a bit more glitchy. Right? So if you're holding the emerald, you want to run I mean, at the eyes or feet. I don't know. It's weird how Mojang does this. And then you just teleport the AI to itself just facing us so that's the first thing right now we want the player to uh, the AI to walk to us move to point ah I, I'll get to that sign I know <laughs> even though it's been a kind of couple of months since I made that video and I feel like I'm forgetting everything so it's gonna be at execute at the AI we're gonna make it rotated um, squiggly zero, right? So this is X and this is Y. So the, um, what's it called? The eyes. What's it, what's it called? The eyes? This blue line, which is, it, technically it is the eyes. It's just not, it's not going up and down. It's just going to be looking straight, basically. Right? Or did I just say the other way around? I think I, I might have said it the other way around. No, it's, 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 it's this way. It can only work around this way, but it can't go up and down. It'll be straight, but this way. There you go. Okay. Jeez. I use that all the time, and I'm probably forgetting. Now, go, go. Am I using the... What the world? Hey, go back. So, route to zero. Then I do run, execute. If the block in front of it is air, we want... It, I mean, what? Oh, yeah. The block in front of the, the AI is air. We want it to run point two. And because these blocks are running 20 times a second, I believe, I think it runs once per tick. Okay, so 20 times makes it move at the player walking speed. It might be slightly slower. No, no, it's perfect. It was perfect. I, I think it's, 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 it makes it feel like it's slightly faster if you like turn around and walk because it will cut the corner a little bit tighter and actually catch up to you if you keep moving around. If you're going a straight line, it'll probably be around the same distance. So this one is the jump if there's a block in front, right? So it'll be executing at the thing with the rotation. And if there is no air in it, which means if there is a block in front of the AI or half a block away from the AI, it will run another check to see if the block on top of the uh, of the AI is, an, is air. And 
if it's true, it will jump 1.2 blocks, which is just, I think, is just about right for how a player jumps. It might be 1.3 though, but I left it as that. So here's an example if you didn't understand that. So in front of the AI, um, just pretend it's looking this way, I guess. So it's gonna check if this block is a block, right? And it's gonna check if this block above it is air. So if this is if this is what it's against, it will fail and no, it's not gonna work. If it's like this, it will jump over it. So now here's another problem. There's no there, there's no gravity for our bot. So we gotta add gravity. Yeah, give armor stand gravity. So very simple. It's execute at the AI. And if the block below the bot, just point one, is air, then we just bring it down by point one. Not I think we can change this. I mean, you guys can play around with this if you want. You can always change these numbers. It's not the best gravity. It should probably be slightly better, but it's fine for our little armor stand. It's a robot anyways. The robots don't get affected by gravity. <laughs> I mean, they should have, but I don't know. Pretend it's a space, I guess. It's like that other proof I made before. So here's our second function, which is placing blocks and stuff. And going up and down this is the one that's needs to get played around a bit more you guys can play around with it so we're gonna do a check right if it's what what does sign say so this is if the player is higher than 45 degrees which means um from here i am two blocks above it i think so right yes yeah, this is probably a bit more than 45 but one and a half ish so it will, it will go up one block. So execute at our um, AI. This time we're going to add an X rotation of 90, 45. So it's going to check its eyes and see which rotation it is, right? So once that's true, we're going to have it rotated. And you're going to check if the block, if block, if there is a block below it. Yeah, if there's a block below it, the armor stand, it will jump. Wow, what? Yeah, it was, it's going to jump, right? And then, right Im immediately after that, with the conditional, we got... Same thing here. Just going to check if one block below it is air. So then we can set that block into a cherry plank. You can change that if you want. And then, if it's blocked, it's going to jump. Um, so... Is, is this a good tutorial? Am I, am I doing a good job? I don't know. I'm too lazy to type all of this too, but I don't know how I'm going to do my coding montage. I'm doing this first, then the coding montage, if you don't know. So, if the block in front of it is air, and if the block... What? What am I writing? Shouldn't this be if? If block air, run TP. Yeah, if block then jumped. This is literally the same one as this one, it's just slightly different. Oh, 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 I see. Oh, I'm being silly. I should look forward. I should look ahead of my script. Oh, I see. So this one, if it's like this, if it's in this situation, it will place a block in front of it to go up. I'm being silly. Okay. See, I'm telling you, I've, it's been I've been a bit too long since I looked at these commands. Thank goodness I put these signs. Imagine I didn't put these signs. I'm gonna look at this and be like, "Oh yeah, this does it. It, 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 it does something." Okay, guys, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> yeah, it, it clearly it places cherry blocks somewhere. <laughs> okay, so according to this sign, it says that if there's no block in front but block behind, then place block. Then place block forward. So this is for bridging. So here. So it's basically doing God bridging. Yeah, you can kind of ignore that. So if it's in this situation, it can't just magically place a block here. Even though sometimes in the tutorial, it, did kind, of, it kind of did that, but not really. So it's going to place a block here. So for us regular Bed Wars players, we got to like go this way and do that. But this is a pro gamer it, it knows how to god bridge it, can go, it just goes like this super fast like 
in fraction of a frame, in, in a fraction of a tick, possibly, it'll be, it'll be like, well, pew, pew. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know. And that's the end of that. And that's, our, that's technically the only function I really have for this. This is the basics. Everyone needs this. And this is just extra. What's this one? Oh, and our next function is breaking blocks. If we're below it, so if we're like... Um, I think it's two blocks below it. It's, it's the same thing. And we're, hit, and we're inside it. Then it will break the block below it. This one's a bit scary. Uh, I don't want the AI to break blocks. I, I fear I fear that it might somehow go to one of my command blocks. Or if I'm playing around with it too much. It might go to my command blocks. And if I'm like slightly below it like this. Or like this. It might break one of them. And then blow up the entire. I mean it's not going to blow up. But it might just destroy everything. Especially like if it destroys like one of the earlier ones. It's just the rest of the function is gone. So I think even putting bedrock doesn't protect it. So maybe just throw it somewhere in the sky or have it far away. Put it in the spawn chunks and then go 200,000 blocks away from it. Then the AI can't do anything, huh? Sorry, I didn't mean to say something mean to the AI. It might attack me now, even though it's clearly off. So we got two more command blocks. So this one's destroying blocks. So it'll be... the X rotation of 7590 instead of the um, negative. I don't think I said negative. Yeah, negative 90, negative 45. I think those are good numbers. I played around with those. Rotation zero and check if the block below its air. Unless, yeah. So if it's the block's air, right? I, I unless keeps confusing me. Oh no! I oh yeah, not. It's it's not, basically. So not air, right? Then set the set that block as air and we put destroy. So it's like actual Minecraft where you break a block, you get the item. So yep, that's good. And then we have this one always on at all times to make it so if the player is not holding the emerald, then look forward. Because I have ran into situations where if it's going downwards and I let go of the emerald, it will look down and it will continue destroying blocks and fall break the bedrock and fall out of the world and that was very sad uh, a few of them have died that way even though this is still AI 2 this is technically AI 4 but we're gonna say it's AI 2 we're gonna pretend like I saved them right so execute out the AI so if the entity is not holding emerald there you go we're gonna TP it to itself and just put a zero. So squiggly zero, so the eyes just reset to here. It can be anywhere this way, but it's just gonna look straight. It's not gonna look up and accidentally start bridging up, even though that never happened. It's mainly this command block causing this issue. If this command, if you don't need this command block, you definitely don't need this one. That's how it is. If you don't need these, I don't know why you need this one. <laughs> Actually, unless you want to make it into a miner or something, then. Yeah, go ahead, destroy these and have this. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully this helps you all. Um, I'm I'm not sure how how good this is. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if um it's it's still in the you know early phases. You guys could actually all play around with this. You guys have you got the basics. You got a very early phase of these commands. And then you have these, and then you can add more functions, you know, you guys can play around with, you know. Because I want to make this into a Bedwars bot, that would be super fun, I think. I just need to, the next thing I'm working on is a, um, what's it called? Oh yeah, it's PvP. I, I don't like, I'm, 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 comp I'm losing it, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm forgetting all my words now. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Okay, armor stand, you... Maybe I should make an AI that can do videos for me. Hey, Armorstan, are you willing to do that? That's going to take a lot of command blocks. <laughs> it probably won't be possible in Minecraft, but you know, maybe I can make it do trick shots or something, and bam, easy videos. So yeah. Once I um get like two or three more functions ready, I'll make an update video of, I don't know. I made a Bed Wars AI bot, but give me like... 
<laughs> Six to twelve months. <laughs> I'm so slow. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna. Each block's gonna take me two months, guys. I I'm pretty sure. Two months or more. I don't know. So yeah, hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoy this video. Hopefully this tutorial helps. Hopefully I put this in the description. I think one of the command blocks are going to be wrong in the description. It might be this one. Yeah, it's going to be this command block that's wrong because I remember in the video it's been changed. So just a quick FYI, this is a minus two. It might be minus one in the description or something. One of these, some one of these command blocks have changed. You can, you should probably play around with this number. I think five might be a better bet, a safer bet for this one. I have it as two. Two is not good. I think ten might be too much. I think five would have been better, but that's up for you guys to play around with. So yeah. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button. YouTube's getting really mad at me that I'm not saying that word enough. Um, they even added RGB subscribe button when I say that button. Say that button. Say subscribe. Hopefully it works for you guys. I've been knowing this for months now and I've never been saying it. <laughs> and now every other YouTuber is saying it before me. So I have to say it even though I'm like the second person to find out about it. Not really, but you know what I mean. So yeah, hit that subscribe button or the RGB subscribe button. And yeah. Um, anyways, guys. Uh, uh how, how do I end these? Oh, yeah, and bye, guys. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, we gotta do that. Again. And bye, guys.